Hello, my name is Ray Franklin. I'm the Senior Commodity Analyst for Energy Professionals. Today's video is a summary of my May 6th energy update, in which I will summarize the factors that will be taking natural gas from its present supply surplus to a supply deficit in 2025. I focus on natural gas in my videos because it's the largest source of power for the generation of electricity. Therefore, their pricing is highly correlated. Our April 22nd energy update explained why natural gas becoming a contango market strongly suggests the average price will be higher long term, and the upside risk is much greater than the downside potential of waiting and hoping for slightly lower pricing. As you can see, forward market prices clearly show that natural gas has become a contango market through 2027. A market becomes a contango market when its forward contract prices are higher than its nearby contracts, which is where natural gas is today, with its forward market prices projected to average $2.72 per million BTU for the remainder of 2024, $3.52 in 2025, $3.97 in 2026, and $4.05 in 2027. Our April 22nd energy update explained contango markets occur when traders believe short-term fundamentals supporting low prices are transitioning to long-term fundamentals supporting higher prices. Now, fundamental analysis measures and predicts the factors affecting the future supply demand of a commodity. And in this case, the factors impacting the future supplies of natural gas, which are predicting a supply deficit is forthcoming. I will now summarize the factors that will take natural gas from its present supply surplus to a supply deficit in 2025. The first factor leading to a natural gas supply deficit next year was discussed in our February 26th energy update, in which we said natural gas producers would be forced to cut production in response to today's unsustainably low prices. Simply put, prices are unsustainably low when they decline below the cost of production, and producers must respond by making strategic decisions to reduce production to force prices to move higher in the future. This response was confirmed on February 21st when Chesapeake Energy, in response to the recent plunge in prices, announced that they were cutting the amount of fuel they will produce in 2024 by roughly 30% and natural gas immediately reversed its decline from its lowest price of the year and has trended higher since their announcement. The market's response to this news was appropriate, given Chesapeake Energy is expected to become America's largest producer of natural gas after its merger with Southwest Energy, and was reinforced when EQT, which is presently the largest U.S. natural gas producer, announced its strategic decision to cut production by approximately 1 billion cubic feet per day starting in late February. In Baker U's latest report, released on May 3rd, it confirmed that producers of natural gas are decreasing their production, with active gas rigs continuing to plunge, and they are now down 35% from this time last year, going from 157 to 102 active rigs. Therefore, the first factor expected to move natural gas from a supply surplus to a supply deficit is firmly in place. But another and even more powerful factor will likely force natural gas from a supply surplus to a supply deficit in 2025. Our exports of natural gas are about to significantly increase in 2025. In their April 9th short-term energy outlook, the Energy Information Administration forecast that America's liquefied natural gas exports will continue their growth that has been taking place since 2016. There will be three new LNG export projects that are presently under construction that will begin operations and ramp up to full production by the end of 2025. The EIA is also forecasting another factor that will support the growth of America's natural gas exports, our continued pipeline growth, mainly to Mexico. In their short-term energy outlook, the EIA predicts America's net exports of natural gas, which would be exports minus imports, will grow 6% to 13.6 billion cubic feet per day in 2024. And in 2025, the EIA predicts net exports will increase an additional 20% going to 16.4 billion cubic feet per day. If the EIA is correct and America's net exports increase from 13.6 to 16.4 billion cubic feet in 2025, 
the net result will be 1,022 billion cubic feet. This is over a trillion cubic feet decrease in supplies in 2025. I found this number by the following calculation. 16.4 minus 13.6 equals 2.8 times the number of days in a year of 365. This would be a decrease of 1,022 billion cubic feet. That's over a trillion cubic feet. In their latest May 2nd weekly natural gas storage report, the EIA reported we presently have a 642 billion cubic foot surplus in storage versus the five-year average, which is why natural gas is presently near its lower prices since 2000. But based on the two factors discussed in today's report, it is clear natural gas will be moving from supply surpluses in 2024 to supply deficits in 2025. And the contango market is predicting natural gas will respond with much higher prices in 2025 through 2027. But some of you may be tempted to delay because your local utility is presently posting low tariff rates, with natural gas the largest source of power for the generation of electricity near a 20-year low. But hopefully today's report will help anyone hesitating to secure a fixed rate with a supplier because their local utility is offering a low rate at this time, they will now understand that those low rates will likely be much higher long term. A good lesson can be learned from what took place in Ohio last week. The Public Utilities Commission of Ohio encouraged Ohioans to review their energy choice options ahead of electricity supply price changes that are going to be posted June 1, 2024. What were those changes? The tariff rates of the six local utilities will be decreasing from 14 to 32 percent. So why in the world is the Public Utility Commission of Ohio encouraging Ohioans to review their energy choice options ahead of the decreases? We believe it's because since 2000, the Public Utility Commission of Ohio knows when prices decline to where they are today, the average price was always much higher long term. Therefore, if your present energy agreements expire in 2024 or 2025, we recommend taking advantage of this year's historically very low prices and reserve energy to be available when your present agreements expire. We believe the empirical evidence in today's report showing the forward market is now a contango market strongly suggests the average price will be high long term. And based on what has happened since 2000, we are likely still early in the present cyclical bull market. And the longer you delay securing fixed rates now, the more you will likely pay later. We realize not every client's risk tolerance and hedging strategy are the same, but hopefully today's report helps put into perspective your risk reward opportunities. And we invite you to call one of our energy analysts to help plan a hedging strategy that would be appropriate for your situation. And until my next report, please take care.